So we know that the final fest for Splatoon 3 will be happening probably at some point this year. Maybe even within the next couple of months or so. And perhaps one of the biggest questions we've seen about this is how will the theme affect Splatoon 4? Now, in case you didn't know, the Final Fest theme from the past games have always affected the subsequent game. It's why we're living in a world of chaos in Splatoon 3 and the DLC was all about order, that being the losing choice. And it is heavily rumoured and honestly very likely in my opinion that the theme for this upcoming Final Fest will be which of the three idol groups do you prefer? This is hinted at by the jelly at the end of the trailer, with all of the different idol group icons on his little bag. And we got even more evidence for this from recent data mines, where they shared that the final fest will feature all three idol groups performing simultaneously in one plaza. It very much seems like this is what they're gearing up towards. However, a lot of people do not believe this because they can't envision how this would affect the next game, and I can understand where they're coming from. However, it is entirely possible that perhaps the final fest theme of Splatoon 3 will not affect Splatoon 4. For a start, we have to consider that Splatoon 3 is the end of the main story started in Splatoon 1. It is the end of an era, the end of a trilogy. So in my opinion, this Final Fest is most likely a celebration of all three of the games, which is exactly what Splatoon 3 set out to do, with it bringing us all of the different plazas and idol groups. I think people are assuming that the Final Fest theme has to affect the next game based on how it has been in Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. But if the main story has come to an end, I don't see why it has to. Things might be a completely new slate with Splatoon 4. But if we want to make an argument that it has to affect the next game, then I feel like there's maybe a few options. Maybe rather than which idol group do you prefer, they could do something like which of the three plazas do you prefer, and that could be the setting for the next Splatoon game. Not that I envision they would do it exactly the same as they have in this game, I imagine that instead they would completely change it up and revamp it, maybe set it in the future or something, but that could be an option. Or maybe if we are voting for which of the three idol groups we prefer, it could determine which of those three idol groups appear as a cameo in the story mode or a DLC for the next game. Just because the main story has ended which started in Splatoon 1, it doesn't mean that any of these characters absolutely cannot appear in the next Splatoon game. In fact, I'm sure we will see a lot of cameos. With a DLC based on Pearl and Marina in Splatoon 3, I could definitely see them picking the most favourite choice to appear in the next game. So perhaps if Pearl and Marina wins this, as a lot of people feel like they might, then we could see them appear as a cameo in the story mode for Splatoon 4. Either way, everything is pointing towards the theme being something similar to that, whether it is what is your favourite plaza or your favourite idol group, so it is entirely possible that it might affect Splatoon 4 in some way, or it just might not, it might just be a celebration of all of the events and characters from Splatoon as a franchise so far. Either way, I'm definitely very interested to see exactly when this event will happen and what Nintendo will plan to do with it, as I'm sure you all are. Let me know your thoughts and ideas down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, leave a like and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more.